the path we are pursuing is a path of pressure relentless pressure to ensure that biafra comes how are we going to employ that pressure there are only two ways to get your freedom in the history of the whole world freedom can be gotten only two ways one is through the ballot box in other words people will contest and they will have biafra nationalist party yes as they have in scotland and then we vote for them when they then go to the house or maybe go to abuja they will say we are here under the mandate of biafra nationalist party because of that we want to go and conduct a referendum in order for us to be free the other way you fight either you go through the ballot box or you fight which option are we choosing we have chosen to fight the governor of the state himself obeys the seat at home on Monday and then the civil servants that work in government house obey the seat at home and government shut down on Mondays it means the real governor of South East is Simon Ekba ruling the South East from uh, Finland the governor of the state you must go and listen to Simon Ekba who is doing a very fantastic job very great job that Simon Ekba is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we're making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. Aka Jehovah. Aka Jehovah me me ma. Ole bubea, kebe ruari ni bimbo. Isi ikendu, kena di atata. <laughs> aka, aka ya, aka jihova ni bimba. Aka, aka ya, aka jihova ni bimba. Ole bubea, kemeru ari ni bimbo. Fifteen thousand men, didin jikere ogule. Omo biafra, ani din jikere ogu. <laughs> our hands are ready. Our hands and our fingers have been taught to war. Listen to me. Tell everyone you know, our prime minister says we know him. He doesn't say what he cannot do. And he doesn't do what he cannot say. He does what he says. Did you remember when our PM was telling them about Biafra Liberation Army? All of them were doubting. All of them were there with army. They will bring out five men. They will bring out two men. They will bring out three men. They will bring out seven men. We can't send them. <laughs> the day our army was unveiled, all of them were looking like this. That's what he says. <laughs> anyway, 15,000 men is just often couple. Our PM told them that we have over 100,000 reserves. They are from Liberation Army. So, to support our brothers in the IDF with 15,000 or 20,000 men, it is just like a tax. <laughs> we want to pay a tax of our men to our brothers in the IDF in Israel. We want to give them a tithe, just a tithe, you know, 10% of the reserve just uh, to support the men. Remember, Israel has the most powerful, you know, army, you know, warheads in the Middle East where they are. And the Biafra Liberation Army are sophisticated and they are fearsome and they are ready but already all you need to do is just hand them over the machine 
and they will go and deliver the goods. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. The air. Okay, man, this morning I have my man, Oyeka. We'll be able to, you know, tell them how ready our PM is and then how our PM is on Okinadu. Before I forget to greet my special people in the house, Ototoma, Omotineke, Ndiyama, Jibiri, Ototoma, Lars, Benzico, Ototoma, Onye, El, Emma, Ototoma, Biafra, Chigozi, Ototoma, Oh, my own, Dolo, 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 Fosu, Wayama, Ototoma, and even I'm forgetting that so much. Ototoma, Taproot, Taproot, the rooted walls in Biafra, Ototoma, that MNK works exactly was triggered to hate from IPOB Nigeria. It is clear why they chose the political pressure group. <laughs> yes, MNK told them that we have chosen to work to fight. You have option before you. It is either you got the political solution, which cannot even work for you, or you choose to fight against your enemies. We have chosen to fight. And you know what they are doing today? What they agreed is that uh, they have told you that we are going to be granddad and the mpa in this liberation. That in 10 years' time, we will be grandfathers. No, no. criminals. Well, we don't pay attention to criminals because we are doing the needful and Biafras are seeing it. And not only Biafras, the whole world is seeing the finger of our prime minister at work, at work in Biafra land. And the whole world, when we speak, they know when IDF, Israeli Defense Force, recognize Biafra. Do you think they don't know that we are ready? IDF, they you know they are the one in control of what we call the Mossad, and the Mossad are intelligent agency of the Israeli Defense Force. They are the ones that know how to go to anywhere in the world, whether you are hiding in Costa Rica or Venezuela, and you are planning against the people of God, they will be able to use the Mossad to identify. So Mossad, they understand and know the capabilities of the Biafra Liberation Army, and when we get our support to ID. Yes, they stood their ground and received and said, Yes, we are family. And right now, when Israel is needing our support, and when they do, I am telling you, we are coming with 15,000 men. Um, 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 Thank you so much. Your network. Greetings, Biafra. Okay. Greetings to all of you. Greetings. You see, you know, they think that they have killed all our men. So when they when they hear this number, they're surprised. You know, they have been killing our men for a long time. They, kill, <laughs> they have been killing our men. So they think they have killed all of us, you know. They don't know that, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when, we, when we tell them that uh, we, we, we have 100,000 reserve, reserve, and when they hear this, they think this is just a joke. You know, you know what is fifteen thousand men? Fifteen thousand. You know what it means? Just like a feed up of a stadium, feed up of the stadium. That is fifteen thousand men. So that is <laughs> so they are surprised whenever they hear this, but they will be shocked the day the affair will be declared. Eh? They will be shocked. They will see what they've not seen before. So I believe my prime minister. I know he's not a man who will talk what he cannot defend. Or who talk what he cannot do is a is a talk not do. So I believe you hundred percent, no doubt, no iota of doubt. Thank you so much, Bam Bam Bam. <laughs> Greetings to be Thank you very much for watching, Eke. Thank you very much. And let me tell you, some of you may be wondering, eh, we need, we are making contribution every week. Let me tell you, the men we are providing, Israel will equip. The men we are providing, the IDF will equip them with the the warhead with what they need to fight the enemies they will pro provide no, no, no. Them. So all, yes go ahead that will also make our men to got get more experience more powerful yeah you know, that oh, yeah, play. We, you know our pm you know you know we, you know what they told you that uh Biafra is not locked now they understand that Biafra. In Biafra, from Biafra land, we can travel to Israel. Do they know how much the cattle got to Israel? 
Do you know, ask yourself, how did the man sit down the cargo when they wanted to eliminate him? How did he arrive in Israel? Now, let me tell you what will shock you. Let me tell you what will shock you. There is the movie they call 90 minutes in Entebbe. 90 minutes at Entebbe in Uganda airport. When India Amin thought he has, you know, kidnapped the army, the, 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 the children of God that was Israelis that were kidnapped and they locked them up in Entebbe. And I'm telling you, within 90 minutes, 90 minutes, the IDF arrived in Entebbe airport. The Uganda intelligence could not even identify. They got to Entebbe, they rescued their men, and they departed Entebbe, and they left with their own citizens, except one old woman who was in the hospital. I'm telling you what Israel is capable of. And if Israel is capable of such, you know what our men are also capable of. As that in the zoo, we where is it possible that men you are saying that there is no man but 18 armor tankers we are neutralized within six days 18 armor tankers only in the world world of Olu, only in Olu, 18 armor tankers neutralized that is what israeli capabilities in biafra and they also can achieve let me tell you what we are able to do we are able to go into the enemy's territory and do the undoable the unthinkable and then the whole world will be opening their mouth and be saying how did they do it our prime minister is telling you that when you know when it comes to you know the the, the time we need to really rescue our men even our man in that can we are able to go to our boat take the, the fight to Abuja and do the needful. I'm telling you, it's only that the only thing that we are concerned about is, you know, collateral damage. We don't want uh, innocent people to lose their lives in the process. That's why you see the way we operate right now with caution and with intelligence. If Israel did that in Entebbe, I'm telling you, moving 15,000 men <laughs> from Biafra land to the epicenter of where Iran think that they can show their wickedness and their evil, I'm telling you, it is just a child's play. We can do the unthinkable. Just the way you see it in the movies, you can see it reality on ground. How our men hey, will, will, will surface in the battlefield and defend the land of God, the land of Israel. Obodochuku Gozili. Obodochuku set it aside for himself with the children of heaven, with Umuchineke. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Ask yourself, how was Mazin Namdekalo able, when you are looking for him, the best place you saw him was at the Holy War in Jerusalem. We are able to move to anywhere in the world. Our men are capable. And once it sets, one man, our men, the Gangakwa, what are more experience? <laughs> more experience, my own, our mother's here, no, 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 no. So when our prime minister is saying something, he needs it. And do you know why? Because the days we are in now are very, very important days, very serious, because this thing right now is going global. The hatred for Israel as it's going global, you can also imagine the hatred they have for Biafra. The hatred they have for Biafra is also the same way they hate Israel. So, as they hate us, Biafra give us super intelligence on how to overcome them. We have super intelligence on how to combat our enemies and be able to place them where they belong. We are the people of God with super intelligence, supersonic intelligence. We will defeat them anywhere. You know, if they have the power to eradicate the whole of Biafra, they would have done it. But they couldn't. Even though they did all they did during the you know three years war, they came with against Biafra and they used hunger, you know, to buy many of our people. Let me tell you today, they cannot even try it again. They can't try it again. And even with that one they did today, we are even more stronger and more formidable. When they are crying, we are not, we are celebrating. You see, they cry of hunger, but we have surplus. Even though they try to marginalize us, reduce us, but Tuko Kikabia will always have a way of supplying our needs in the midst of scarcity and austerity. So do not joke with us. 
Don't even mind those you see that they are making joke and making mockery of themselves, asking you how will they be able to provide fifteen thousand men? How will they be able to supply them with weapons? Look, Israel have super water houses of weapons to supply the men that will defend the land. I'm telling you. So when it comes to ground forces and it is needed, Biafra is equal to the task, and our men are ready to join their brethren in the open. To defend the land of Israel. So this morning, I am telling you what we can do. So do not be worried. Do not be afraid. Don't even bother yourself about that. So we are using, you know, two stones to kill different beds at the same time. So we know when our priorities come. We know when to face them, and we are facing them squarely. Our Prime Minister Bonye will have their force on. You understand? And right now, we are also advising our brethren those that have closed their ears and you are still there in the northern part of the zoo let me tell you when the heat goes on they will turn their faces on you because you know they cannot do israel anything and they cannot do biafras anything in biafra land they will turn their anger on you so if you are still there in abuja you are there in the north advise yourself now because they will still do what they know how to do best you know because you know how cowardly they are they cannot face you in the open. All they do is to come and attack you while you are sleeping or when you are without arms or you are armless, they will attack you. That's what they do. They did it in, during the program. They will see what to do it again. So advise yourself and begin to move to Biafra land, which is a safer place for you. If you are still in the north, while this heat is on, remember that uh, the Shites, all those that support Iran, they are scattered all over those places where you people are. I don't know the kind of money you are looking for or the kind of businesses you are doing and putting your life on the line. Yeah? If you really want to put your life on the line, you better go to Biafra land and join in the men on ground, you know, to know that you are fighting for something. Because if you are there, you know, without any intelligence, without any protection for you, you know, and you are not trained, you are not equipped, you are there, they are just going to use you as their suya. So be very warned. Uh, Onyeka, if you have any other thing to say, you say it otherwise. We will call their fans up to yes. join us here this morning. You see, uh, you know, when they talk about say that our, our place are landlocked, I began to love them. I began to love them. Do you know that we control the airspace of Nigeria? That any flight that goes to Nigeria pass through our airspace? Do you know that Musa any chief that goes Musa confirmed it, man? Musa confirmed it. That go to Lagos pass through our waterway. Do you know that? Yes, yeah. sir. If we want, to, if we want to deal with Nigeria, we deal with Nigeria. Must in every we fact we block everything. Their chief go to Lagos to pass through our waterway. In so concert is to have the shortest and deepest access to sea, fastest access to sea. You know, in so concert is, you know, you have you go to all the states. You have to access to sea. You go to Afi, we have access to sea. Apart from the river Niger. So we, we, when they say people are landlocked, I don't know what they mean by landlocked. I don't understand their grammar. You know? So, but uh, that is a, a story for another day. We, 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 Biafra will be one of the powerful nations in the world. I am very, very optimistic about that. And it will happen. Okay? And anybody who stands on our way will be crushed. If you like, I say Biafra anywhere in the world, support us. If you like, continue sitting on the fence. When the time will come, you will, you will see what you do to yourself. And you have yourself to blame. Your children will be against you because every truth will be on social media. They will know that you will be, you are the one that caused what they will be suffering. Go and ask the people of South Korea that have been, that are not being treated as citizens. It's not their fault, but what their forefathers did when they were fighting for their freedom is they are hurting them today. So where you are, say, be friend, support what we are doing so that you prevent this from happening to your children and unborn generations. We are not going to forgive. All the disciples will not be forgiven. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Omuchineke, that is the encouragement that comes to you today. So, when you hear our PM say those things, it should come as a pride to you. It should come as a pride to you that, look, the Afros are also able to provide men. To provide men. 
No, don't, don't, don't be sentimental about it. Don't ask questions. Let me tell you, you know, some people were asked yesterday, you know, what will Israel do when we give them this support? I mean, when the time comes and then they are able to, you know, look somewhere else, you know, look out of Israel, because already now I want to tell you, a lot of enemies are around Israel. A lot of them. A lot of propaganda against the people of Israel. A lot of them. So what we are even facing is small compared to what, you know, Israel. Israel is in the middle of the heat out there. So, but I'm telling you, to quote Kabia, but who knows what they're going through. I've also equipped them on how to overcome. Do you know how many missiles were fired at them at the same time? Just yesterday, you know how many? And they were able to neutralize almost all of them. Have you seen any casualty? You know, if they if they were so powerful and they're able to stop Israel, you would have seen on the you know social media or everywhere casualties in Israel. We're not seeing any of such things. All we are seeing are missiles flying across the skylines and the Israeli power, you know, to, to intercept working. The iron dome and all the you know interceptors are working. Oh yeah, can what is it? I said the iron dome are intercepting the missiles. All the missiles. Exactly. The That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So the iron domes are busy working. <laughs> you know, they thought they would be able to overwork the iron dome and overwhelm Israel. Let me tell you, you cannot overwhelm the people of God. The finger of God supports his own children. The finger of God works with us so you cannot overwhelm the people of god so that is the much i can take this morning and as i leave you with this remain resolute remain confident that you are supporting the winning team you are with you are supporting the winning side standing with biafra is standing with victory and standing with the light a light shall and light can never you know fall light can never fall only darkness will be overwhelmed by light Darkness can never win light. Light can never be switched off by darkness. So when the light comes to bright, uh, broaden and shine, darkness will dissipate completely and continuously. So I'm going to leave you with this. Remain resolute. Remain steadfast. Tell your brethren, tell everyone you know that we are moving forward and Biafra is winning. Continue to vote and continue to support our men. Yes, our men. We are not going to use our weapons to fight for Israel. Israel will provide the weapons with which our men will fight with them. So don't let that one bother you. The, the support you are giving to our men is the support to defend Biafra land. So when Israel asked for men, remember when Ukraine was, you know, asking for men and they were even ready to pay. You know, some people in Nigeria, in the confused Nigeria, were ready to go to Ukraine. Are they the one that would have provided the weapons? No. They know the weapons would have been given them to fight in Ukraine, but they know when they go there, they are going to lose because the superpower, the higher power, is the one that engages. But right now, when we stand with Israel, the ambulance was so noisy. When you stand with Israel, you are standing with the higher power, with the superior power. Israel is a superior power in the Middle East. So standing with Israel is standing with the winning team. Thank you very much. And uh, Taproot says, Pastor Van Van Van, do you think the entire Muslim world uh, behind Iran? The Iranian type of Islam sect is different from the rest. Why they zoo Muslim celebrating and the uh, Bayes uh, Shites sect in the zoo? Yes. The whole Muslim world do not support Iran. Yes. So that is why Iran is already fighting a lost war, a lost battle. I'm telling you, you know, people like Jordan, Jordan opened their airspace for Israel to use. People like Qatar, Qatar will allow Israel to use their airspace. Even Saudi Arabia, <laughs> even Saudi Arabia will allow Israel to use their airspace. I'm telling you, when it even comes to moving men from all over the world to come and stand or fight on the ground for Israel, those other nations you are calling, even people like Egypt, will give a pathway, a passage for men that will fight for with Israel and to defend the Jerusalem of God. So continue to support the truth because truth will always defeat and uh, win uh, uh, lies and win darkness. I love you all, but to cook Kabiam and lost you more. Until I see you later this afternoon, Umuchineke. I remain the host on this platform, Rafael Chamaka Jere, aka Pastor Vam Vam Vam. Have a beautiful and a pleasant day.
Thank you. Have mercy and we be your friend. Lord, give us a freedom. Have mercy on we be your friends and give us a freedom. Oh, Lord, have mercy on we be your friends and give us a freedom. Fire, we need our leader. Prophet. Mercy on your good you cook and all. We need our leader. Mercy on your good you cook and we need our leader. Come on. The evil and wicked British and full and the caliphate. Change God the sun from shining from the east of God. I saw the flash all over the globe. Are you feeling me? I can't Why are you not feeling you from my location, you know? <laughs> we are going back.